Hello Pisces and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your love reading. Um, if you like the video, please be sure to like and just simply click on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the screen so that you can um, see my future videos when they post. It'll just come up on your feed, okay? And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everybody. Please be sure to check your moon rising and Venus sign. Okay, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. So I do see some water here, water signs. So we can be dealing with um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I do have Earth here, which is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I do have Fire here, which is. Um, Leo Sagittarius or Virgo energy, and I do have air here, a lot of air, um, which can be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarian energy. Okay, Pisces. So, underlining reading is the Ten of uh, Cups, which is beautiful, okay? Absolutely beautiful. That means that you are in a really great mood, Pisces. You've got uh, a lot of joy in your family life, a lot of joy in your relationships. You are really happy right now, Pisces, okay? You've got your arms up, you know, just blessings raining down. You are very happy in uh, with your person, Pisces. You're very happy, okay? So... Here we have the Seven of Cups, okay, which does mean that you have a lot of choices. Um, it does represent a little bit of confusion, all right? Now, to clarify that, it means that you are overcoming stuff. So maybe in the past, Pisces, you or your person had some bad um, traits, okay, that you guys are trying to work towards. So, you know, you have a lot of different options. You can do, you can go back to being who you were before, but you're trying to overcome this. You're trying to overcome these bad habits. As you can see, they're, you're fighting them away. So again, this can be you or your person, Pisces, but you're happy now and you really want to stop the bad behavior or, or they want to stop the bad behavior. So here we have the strength card and the world that, that are clarified, the, the world is clarifying the strength card. So the strength card is like the beauty and the beast card. The strength card means that you don't want to do things um, in a volatile way anymore. You don't want to handle situations. For instance, you don't want to fight with your, your person and go out drinking or, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to do things that way anymore. If there's fights or arguments, you're looking to communicate, you're looking to handle things in a more peaceful way. And this is, um, this is growth. This is a bad cycle coming to completion. Okay, this is you growing and maturing as a person, or it's your person growing and maturing as a person. So we have, you know, we have something ending and and success coming in. It's a successful completion. Okay, so it's it's maturity coming in to the relationship. So here we have the Six of Pentacles, which um, is Earth. Okay, so again, we can be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, and this is balance. Okay, so what we have is balance here. It does mean money coming in, but being that this is a love reading, I do see balance, which I think is, is what's important here. Okay, you're, you're balancing everything out. Um, and learning how to communicate with each other because I do see here the it's this is being clarified by the ten of wands. So the ten of wands does mean a lot of work, a lot of burden. Okay, so I do feel like that's one of the things that you are overcoming right now in your relationship. You know, you have found happiness with this person. You really love this person, and you're trying to balance out the old you. You know what I'm saying? That you know all your choices of all the things that you used to do before. You're trying to balance out the old you and the new you you're trying to you know you're, you're coming to a completion in your life and you're starting something new okay so one part this old this person that you were before is ending and someone new is coming in and you're doing it in the name of love you're doing it for your family pisces you're doing it for you know your person okay 
So, and it is going to be a little bit of hard work. You are going to have a lot to overcome, okay? This is communication. Wands is communication, okay? There's going to be a lot of talking here. There's going to be a lot of communicating here because there's major change coming. So here we have the three of pentacles. Again, um, you know, this is this is fire, by the way, okay? So anything with wands is fire. So that could be Leo... Um, Aries or Sagittarius energy. And here we have Earth again, okay? And it's the Three of Pentacles being um, clarified by the Queen of Cups, okay? So what I'm getting from here, okay, is that this is your person, Pisces. This person, uh, Cups again is water energy. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it can be you, okay? But I really feel like this is your person. This is someone that is so loving, so kind, so giving, so intuitive, whatever you need, they're there for you, all right? And this is, the Three of Pentacles is reward after success. So as you can see, you know, he's building this, this whole arc here, and he's being praised for it by these people. Um, but this can also mean um, jealousy, and it can also, it's the three, so it can mean a third party situation. Now, let's keep in mind, third party doesn't always mean, okay, and we have another three here too, okay? So it doesn't always mean that there's another person. It means that something is coming in between the relationship. All right. So something is coming in between the relationship with you and your person, and that can be the bad behavior from before. It can be all the, the bad choices that you used to make before that you're trying to overcome Pisces. All right. But you're gaining strength. You're gaining strength. You're maturing. And again, this can be your person, Pisces, but I don't know. I feel like it's you because you have the wish fulfillment quote card as your energy. And I feel like you're happy about this change in your life, Pisces. That's the, the energy that I'm getting and you're doing it all in the name of love and this is a mother there could be a pregnancy here too so so you know the this is again cancer is like the mother of the zodiac okay so this could be this is either a pregnant you know a pregnancy maybe is happening and you're just really wanting to change your ways or I mean you know maybe you're getting married or this person is just like the you know what I'm saying that everything to you it's either mr. mr. hubby or mr. wifey your person um, you're do you're willing to really change your bad ways for in the name of love here okay you're really ending a cycle and starting a new one and you want to be successful you want to be these are two beautiful beautiful cards Pisces this is a lot of happiness and a lot of success okay but there's going to be a lot of work getting there Pisces nothing comes easy there's going to be a lot of communication a lot of talking all right so here we have the uh, Seven of Cups being clarified by the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is no nonsense. He's putting his emotions to the side, and he's being very strategic. He's thinking, how do I have to make these changes in my life? What do I have to do to succeed? Okay, and we have the, you know, the strength card being clarified by the Knight of Swords. Again, this is somebody that's coming in always ready to take action. This is taking action. You're taking action, you're gaining strength, and you're making these changes in your life, okay? You're taking this action to not be this, this person and, and, and react badly to the communication coming in. You're taking action and starting to handle things in a more graceful manner. You're handling things with love. Um, now here we have the Queen of Swords is going to be clarifying the Six of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like this person, that your person, as much as they're loving, as much as they're kind, as much as they're, you know, giving and everything, they have, because we have the, the, the Queen of Swords here, and we have the Queen of Wands, okay? So again, this is air, so it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or we can have fire, which is Leo, Sagittarius, um, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy, okay? But these two queens, they don't mess around, all right? They really don't mess around, and, and they... They are telling you, you need to change. You know, things need to balance out here because, you know, I'm not dealing with it, all right? So they're telling you that this bad behavior from the past, okay, or, you know, I mean, it could it could be your bad behavior. It could be, no, I feel like it's you, honestly, uh, Pisces, but I'm saying, you know, we do have two queens here, so maybe there might be a mother figure coming in that's, 
you know, really disrupting your marriage or really disrupting your relationship with your partner. Okay, I feel like for some of you that might resonate, that it might be, um, you know, a family member or maybe a friend that's a woman that's coming in that, you know, because we do have threes here. So we do have two threes, which can work. It, it is a third party. It is something that you and your your person are, are arguing about, okay? But you don't want this problem. You don't want this problem. You love your person and you don't want this problem. But they are, your person is serious. Like they are not dealing with it. Okay. They're not dealing with it. There has to be change. You know, you need to make a choice. You need to stop being confused. You need to overcome the obstacles and you need to, there, there needs to, you know, something needs to come to a completion and you need to grow Pisces. Okay. So the three of pentacles is being clarified by the queen of wands so like i said you know third party okay you've got you've got the 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 three of pentacles here with two queens here okay so that that tells me that there's something up you know maybe it's a mother-in-law maybe it's a father-in-law maybe it's a family member but it is causing a little bit of strife in your relationship pisces so the seven of wands which is you overcoming okay is clarified by the Hierophant, okay? So again, I do feel marriage here. I do feel like we, you might be um, married to your person, all right? And this is an in-law that might be coming in and causing a little bit of strife between you and your partner, okay? I, I mean, I do feel that for some of you that might resonate. So now the, the Hierophant um, is unity, is marriage, all right? And I do feel like you're gonna have some obstacles to overcome in this marriage. Now the world card is, um, clarified by the two of pentacles so again the way you're going to co complete this cycle and the way you're going to succeed pisces is learning how to balance this learning how to balance maybe family and your your spouse learning how to balance you know work and family um because this is pentacles okay so maybe work and family but balance is going to be the key and again we also have the six of wands here being clarified by the hard work Okay, so balance is really going to be your key. Also, the strength card represents balance because you're balancing being, you know, being your old self and changing into someone more graceful, basically. Okay, so I mean, the, balancing out behavior, you know, balancing out the way you react to things is really what's going to make a huge change. Again, the you know, Ten of Wands is clarified by the Magician, which also means manifestation and prayer. So you're manifesting this change in your life, Pisces, because I feel, I really do feel like you love your person. You don't want strife in your household. You don't want to deal with these problems. You want this. You just want a happy life. You want to be happy, Pisces. You want to enjoy your children. You want to enjoy your person. You want to enjoy your family. You know, you just don't want to deal with, you know, problems with your person. And I feel here, again, we have uh, cups, which is going to be um, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So here is your person, uh, Pisces, and, and clarifying that is the Three of Cups, which means joy. It means celebration. It means, you know, you guys are, are celebrating um, 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 something here. Now, again, we have the three, so I feel like either there might be a reconciliation with this family member and you guys are all going to celebrate as a family and everything's going to turn out okay. But I do, the, the overall energy that I get here, and again, this may not resonate with everybody, but I do feel like maybe in-laws or, or your, your, your person's family or your family, somebody's starting to come in between you and, and, you know, it's causing a little bit of strife, but overall, Pisces, you're going to overcome it. You're going to overcome it. There's going to be a lot of communication this person loves you and you know there's going to be a lot of forgiveness and celebration and joy and you're going to have this wish fulfillment you're, you're you and your family and everybody's going to be happy again Pisces so it's going to be okay but you know th these are the things that make a relationship stronger Pisces you know th these are the situations that um help you grow in a marriage or or you know in a relationship so what do we have for Pisces worth waiting for separation and pay attention to red flags okay okay so here we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life okay so your your partner might get upset again i told you this person is not playing with you okay so your partner may get upset about what's going on but it's worth holding out it's worth the communication and the struggle to save this relationship it's worth it pisces 
separation. So you might spend time apart from your partner. Okay, so whatever is about to happen here, Pisces, um, you know, the wife might kick you out, the, the boyfriend, you, you know, there might be a slight separation, or you guys might stop talking for a little bit, okay, because they're really upset. They're really upset about what's going on here. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, okay? So this is telling me, Pisces, that, again, you have to watch for old behavior. You have to learn how to handle things in a different way. You have to learn balance. You have to become more mature. You have to, you know, this is real. This is, you know, your partnership with this person. This person really loves you and you love them and you want to make the change. You want to overcome. You know, you're going to put in the hard work, okay? This third party situation here, this third party situation here, this card is a three, but it represents jealousy. And this card is a three, but it represents celebration. So there may be some things happening here where a family member is jealous. Some, something's going on here and it's going to end well. There's going to be joy. There's going to be reconciliation. And you're, you're manifesting this change in your life because ultimately, Pisces, you want happiness okay you want happiness you don't want the strife you want to learn how to balance things okay and you're going to become more strategic in how you handle this situation okay it's going to be all right pisces you love your person your person loves you problems happen but this is just a little hiccup in the road ultimately everything is going to be just fine okay have a great day guys